Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my little chatty sassy corner here on YouTube where I talk about all things luxury. And if that interests you, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Today we are doing another what fits and little mini review of a Christmas item. And in this case, it is my mother's Vauvin PM that she got for Christmas from my dad. And I think that this is a really great alternative to the Chanel Classic Flap, which if you watch my channel, you know I'm not that big of a fan of Chanel. And so I think that this is a really great and much better priced alternative to give you a similar look. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so now I wanna show you inside the bag. First off, this is not actually functional. It is a magnetic clasp here. And then this front pocket that it has on the outside is really great to fit your phone. This is a regular size, not a plus size iPhone. And there's tons of room. There's two fingers on each side. So it can definitely fit a plus size iPhone in that front pocket. Now, what else do I have in here? One of the things that my mom wanted to go with this was this, as I pull it out, flat zip wallet. Now this is the monogram with black. They do also have it in reverse monogram. And it is a flat wallet on this other side. She has things like cards, license, insurance, and then a zipper section that is great for cash because you can lay all your bills flat and not have to fold them. And this does fit perfectly into here. Now, in addition, let me show you what else I have in here. This is actually quite a roomy bag. And I think this is a lot more roomy than the Chanel Classic Flap because of how much room the double flap takes up. So we've got car keys, AirPods, my Bastia, my lipstick, a compact, a checkbook, a Calvi Duo and a big sunglass case. And that was all fitting in there. But let me show you some other arrangements that you can use if you want to do something different in this bag. So first, still with my cell phone in the front pocket, I'm going to put in a full size wallet. This is clearly a very nice, thick, full size wallet. It fits down in here just fine. Like I said, my phone is still in the front pocket. Now it does take up some room as far as like being able to put a full sunglass case in there, but we'll deal with that in a second. I can then still drop in my Bastia, my compact, my lipstick, my car keys. And then on top, it gives me enough room that I can take my sunglasses out of their case and lay on top and then still close the bag. And I want you to see it is clearly not overstuffed on the sides, on the back, or even if I hold this up underneath, this is actually a very flat bottom and this is a very structured leather. So even with all this weight in the bag, it was not collapsing down at all, which is a really important thing to note. So what if you don't carry a full size wallet and many of us don't? Well, then let me show you another configuration where I've just taken out the full size wallet and the sunglasses. I can then drop in my regular phone, bring back in the checkbook, bring back in the Calvi Duo, bring back in the AirPods, and still set my sunglasses safely on top. And so that gives you a good, I think, overview showing you just how much you can fit in, depending on what type of wallet or card holder you are using you obviously can get a lot of space. And like I said, this closes just fine, even with my phone in the front pocket. So that gives you a very comprehensive look at what can fit in this bag, different arrangements you can do depending on what all you're carrying. And so I wanted to talk briefly about some of the pros and cons. First off, just like the Chanel Classic Flap, it does have the double chains that can obviously drop down to give you a nice long shoulder strap or of course the double shoulder strap. Now this chain is actually a little bit longer than Chanel's and it can actually go cross body on you. Whereas most people find that the medium classic flap on them and even the small doesn't necessarily go cross body. So I think that that is a really good pro. Another neat thing to note is that while this top flap and the back of the bag 
and the bottom has the empreinte leather. You also have the sides and then this front portion of the bag this is just a regular pebbled leather. And so it gives some interest to the bag and breaks it up a little bit, particularly with this flap coming across here to give some more definition on the shape of the bag, which I think is really cool. And then I think that this has a ton of space. The other thing that I think is great is that it has a very usable back pocket as well as a very usable front pocket. Of course, the con of that being you have to make sure, particularly on the front pocket, not to overstuff it because if you do, it can cause some difficulty with this flap closing because the pressure will not allow the magnet to work correctly. I think that another con that some people might find on this bag is because it is such a thick leather, it is going to have some weight to it, but that is what is to be expected with a leather bag. Obviously, if you're going with a thinner leather, a leather that is not as nice, you'll probably have a lighter weight option. And then the final con of this bag, which for some people really matters, for other people it doesn't as much, is that there are no feet on this bag. Now, of course, because this is a dressier style, it's not like that you're going to be using this every day, so probably the places that you'd be going with it would be much safer to set your bag down. But if that is a concern for you, that is something to note that this bag does not have feet. So there is my little mini review as well as what fits for the Vavin PM. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. See you in the next one. Bye!